And now we return to our feature presentation, The Dolphin Who Learned to Speak. In the 1960s, there was a groundswell of scientific research into the minds of animals. The Mammal Cognition Lab was primarily focused on dolphin communication. We were a two-woman team eager to prove ourselves in the male-dominated field of science. And our objective was simple. Can dolphins acquire human language? What if a dolphin could speak? May 7, 1965. Our specimen was a 15-year-old male named Gerald. He was very smart, very strong-willed. A, see my mouth, A, no, Gerald. But as Gerald reached breeding age, he became less focused, uh, agitated. His natural drive was distracting him from our work. You know, when a dolphin reaches sexual maturity, there's no stopping them. And then one day I was in the water with Gerald when he got that glassy look in his eye that meant he was having an urge, so to speak. And so I turned to Mary and I said, uh, why don't I just yank him off real quick? <laughs> just like that, it just came out. A at first I wasn't sure it was ethical, but we had to for the science. So I did it. Hey! Right away, you know. It was clear as a bell, and we were able to quickly get back to our work. Yeah. And so it became part of our routine. You know, we would work a while, yank a while, work a while, yank a while, and then a tug or two, and then teach a dolphin to speak. Mm -hmm. Their methods were unorthodox, and their colleagues in other parts of the lab began to take notice. I was on the echolocation unit across the hall. We knew what they were doing in there. I wrote about it in my field notes. April 21st, 1965. No, 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 that's nasty. <laughs> All of you are nasty, sick people. Hell no. For a while, the progress was astounding. He learned the alphabet. A. We were able to teach him sign language. Yes, but soon he started to regress really only doing a few signs, uh, the signs for hand, and now, and who gonna J me O? Fish. Water. I'm pretty sure Gerald was talking to the other dolphins and telling them, hey, you don't have to work for fish. They'll do other things. Well, eventually, the hand sessions took up most of the time, well, almost seven to eight hours of the day. Later, I suggested a way of working as a team, mm -hmm. so to speed up the process. When she was the hand, I would wait outside the door, I would count to 20, and I would bust in and say, who's doing nasty things in here? <laughs> Bad Gerald. Gerald really liked shame. And this was good, of course, for the science. But after 10 years of work with Gerald, he was approved for a well-deserved retirement from the research lab. It was hard to say goodbye to Gerald physically because he was frantically trying to turn it into a sex thing. Eventually, they cleared Gerald for release into the wild. But boy, do I still think of him fondly.